Man, episode 10. 10 is a big number. We are no longer in the single digits, of course, and, and it's a nice round number. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide series. I'm Waddles. Hope you're doing well, as always. And also, take a look at the top left. Welcome to 1.14.1. I, I just updated the world. I haven't done anything. I literally just loaded it up, and I'd like to take a look around at things. We don't have any machines or anything to check, so everything should be working. Uh, but the world, uh, I'm first off noticing that it seems like I can see uh, what my render distance is actually set at now. I think it's set at, um, uh, yeah, 24 chunks. And uh, I mean, it, I don't remember being able to see this far before. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, usually I, I play with like uh, in between 16 and 24 render distance until I have Optifine out and... Yeah, the world looks really, really good. Better than I, th I think it ever has. Today, we're going to test out some of the 1.14.1 stuff, which is really just the chunk loading. That's pretty much all we can do. And move bases. So last episode, we finished up uh, our base over here, the cave base, which I do need a proper name for. If you have an idea, throw it down below. I probably won't actually name the base for a while, but I'd like to eventually. Um, and uh, we're going to move. Did I say that already? <laughs> That's the plan. We're, we're moving today. So I need to, to clean up my inventory a little bit before I move um, and head over out west. I guess it would be west. And um, I need to collect up the things that I actually need to bring. I have a really cool idea. And I, I hope it ends up nice. Uh, so that's the plan today. All right. I, I think I have everything. I... And unfortunately, it is time to officially say our goodbyes to the cave base. Oh boy. Um, goodbye, cave base. I'll see you around. I'll probably be back a little later, actually. <laughs> I, I still need to bring everything that's over here, like all of my items and, and stuff I did. I'm, not, I'm only really taking what I need, is what I'm trying to say. Now, the map border is somewhere over here in this field. I think it's actually about even with that crafting bench I did um, mess with the maps a little bit off camera, so we should pop in, oh, yep, there we go, we popped in, so I think it's, uh, like a little before the crafting bench, not that it matters, but I, I'd like to find out, uh, one, how the world is going to load in now, and two, if I can get there by, by sailing, like 100% sailing, see, this is the thing, I, I'm pretty sure, um, of course, I can get there by sailing by going, huh, how did I miss this? Um, <laughs> uh, hi, ship, uh, it's, you know, yeah, I don't know how I missed that. We will be coming back for, for this shipwreck and the other shipwrecks that we've seen, um, sooner or later, but yeah, for now, the map, I, I know I can get to our new base by water if I go to the south, but I'd like to find out what's on the, the northern coast of our area i think that's our area over there we can actually see things now which is amazing and yeah the world feels really really smooth i i know you maybe couldn't really notice it in the exploration episodes that we did but uh there was some really rough um like like loading of course you could see the invisible chunks but like i would like freeze like the game would just stop and and my computer should be good enough for this game um and i mean i haven't noticed that yet i've only you know been in it for like five minutes but we're, we're off to a really strong start that's what i'm trying to say uh but anyways i i think it's time to to keep sailing and uh we need to get to the warm ocean coast of course with all of the coral and everything cool like that never mind we're gonna cut back in here uh because we have a moment of truth does this land um wrap around uh oh it looks like it does <laughs> uh we may not be able to get around our island to to the north uh, because maybe it's not an island. Maybe there's like a lot of land up there. I don't know. I'm sure I could sail around it. I, I guess everything is technically an island, right? Um, but we're not, we're not going that far out of the way, at least right now. But it looks like we do have a plains biome near where we're living, which is cool. And now that the world actually loads in, I can explore a little bit more. I'd like to find out, uh, really what's to the north and what's to the west of where we're going to be living. Of course, um, the south and every other direction too, but... But the north, I have no clue what's what's up that way. Um, I think that's north. We're going to pretend it is for now. Um, so I'll have to figure that out. But now I go on foot and get over to our coast. 
Ah, our beautiful, beautiful coastline that I should be able to actually see off of now. Everything, yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm excited about this. I, I couldn't see this far before. Um, this is amazing. I, I don't know. I love how the coral looks, but... Uh, this is where we will be living. So I need to find the exact spot. I, I honestly think this small little island might be good for what I'm trying to do. Well, mm, uh, should we do it like this? I mean, we could, right? Like, it's nice and safe. I, I shouldn't see any patrols on this thing. Um, and it's open. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's do this instead. We'll start over here. Maybe like right here looking out of the ocean so first of course i need to to deforest this area just a little bit for the build what we're going to be building isn't really large so i don't need to take down too many trees just a few um and I, i'm going to be a little bit nervous about patrols so let's just put a bed down and as soon as i can sleep i will sleep and we won't break the bed i i don't know if we'll encounter a patrol but if we do uh we're not gonna have a lot of luck i think so uh, that bed will need to stay. Oh, who's shooting me? Um, where are you? Let me put the map away. I don't really need that out. Oh, oh, um, well, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Do we have, um, anything good down here? Uh, uh, um, oh, just a cave. Okay. It's cool. Uh, we'll have to come back, though, and get the iron and, and everything, but uh, today's not a mining episode. I'll keep this in mind, though. Okay, so, you know those those western carts? Like, the moving carts with, with the canvas on the top and, and yeah, like, Wild West carts? <laughs> that's the best way I can really describe it. Um, uh, that's what we're going to go for today. Uh, I brought the wool that we need. I have wood. Uh, I have a rough vision in my head, but uh, who knows if I can actually recreate that. I also will be planting berries along there for now, um, just because, you know, I don't know if I'm going to run out of food. I, I don't think what I'm doing should take too long. We should be able to get back to our cow farm and, and get some, some cows, but uh, the berries will be there just in case. Anyways, the moving cart. So I, I think I need it to be a little large, and I, I think this could be a wheel, right? Um... Maybe we'll strip the logs, maybe not, and then, uh, I don't know, uh, I like the idea of doing five on the back, so three, and then this will be five here, so we'll do big wheels, and then maybe we'll do, I, I don't know, like, uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight, maybe, maybe like a five by eight thing, um... I think 5 by 8 would be good. So we'll start with a 5 by 8 area. This will be raised off the ground. It won't be all that safe, uh, but I, I thought it would be kind of cool, seeing as we're moving, to, to build one of these moving carts and then throw barrels inside of it until we can actually build a proper storage building or room or, or whatever we decide to do. Now, of course, these wheels will need to be connected, and that is where I'm going to need to farm a little bit more wood. Um, because I think I'd like to connect the wheels with spruce wood, and we'll strip these. Um, so there's the wheel. So let's see, where can we plant a tree? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe over here. Maybe I can make a little farm, uh, along the river here. All right, so we'll let the spruce tree grow, uh, and move back over to our build. Now, we need some staircases, because I, th I think doing the whole build in, in spruce wood would look really bad. Um, so we'll maybe do, hmm... I think if we did, like, upside down stairs above the wheels, that would look good, right, to add some depth, and then maybe we'll flip the stairs the other way around, um, in the middle here, to almost create, like, like a ledge that we could climb up, but we won't be climbing up it, um, and we'll do that, and, uh, now on the front or the back or whatever side, I, I think, of course, to keep with the depth, we need to have this thing pop out, and then we have a wheel here, um, so there we go. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this is the easy part of the build, by the way. That's why I'm <laughs> going so fast with it. Uh, actually, I, I think these should probably be turned on the back, right? Because we'll, we'll have that be the front, and then this area over here be the back, and we'll, we'll need like a ladder to go up this thing. Um, now, I'm not a huge fan of just connecting this to the ground, but I, I think that's what we'll have to do. We'll have to do just, um, you know, 
planks here and then a ladder on these because unfortunately we can't hang ladders. We totally should be able to hang ladders, but uh, we can't. Maybe in the future. So there we go. This is how we'll get into the... Um, oh, whoops. This is how we'll get in... Uh, whoops. All right. This is how we'll get into our, our little travel cart. Then I think on the inside we could probably get away with lots and lots of... Mm, maybe not. Maybe not because we'll kind of be able to see the bottom. So maybe I should do solid planks here. Uh, this will all get filled in with planks. Um, and then we'll have a lot of room in here to place chests and barrels and maybe even a bed. I don't know. Maybe we should make like a campsite outside with a campfire and everything. Um, and this will basically be our temporary storage and operating station until I can actually build a house, which will be soon. But I think I'd like to switch gears and do farm stuff um, because we haven't done anything and we'll need you know like a new farm over here uh, but anyways the canvas covering that is the hard part hmm so I, I don't know I I feel like this thing should go up uh, three and then we should go in diagonally like this and then um, probably up one more and across um, is this okay so this would be three like that and then we'd go down and uh down again like that um that's the shape that i think i'm going for um let's see yeah yeah i i think that's right uh the wheels are throwing me off a little bit um that should be the shape though and then i think i could come in here and add some some detail and have certain parts of this cloth thing hanging down a little more and uh, certain parts, well, not not popping up, but maybe popping up. Um, but like in the entrance, I could have that hang over a little bit. I, I think that would be the way to go. And I, I think it would look cool too. So maybe we have this side like shorter and then that hangs down. You know, just creating a, a really like rough look in a sense. Uh, so maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe that's a little overkill. <laughs> um... And maybe, yeah, this middle one needs to come out as well. I, I'm not too sure. I think we're going to have to mess with the build a little bit to get it right. Um, but I think something like this would work, and I think it could be really, really cool. I decided to bring some light gray wool as well, because adding some, some stripes onto this thing would probably help. Wool, like, especially white wool, tends to not look very good uh, when you have, like, a lot of it in one area. So that will help kind of break that up. We'll just do, like, a stripe, and then... We'll probably switch back to the color and just go, I guess, across like that. And yeah, some of this will go up and some of it will go down. So maybe we'll have like a part that hangs way down there or something. Uh, so we almost have like a window, but but it's not meant to be a window. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I, I think the rest of this could all just be flat up top, honestly. Um, let's try it. Let, let's go with that. But of course, I, I want to line my stripe up. So we'll have another gray stripe there. And then what do we have in the middle? We have uh, four. Hmm. That's not really enough for like another stripe anywhere. Hmm. Well, you know, I think that's okay. We can, we can just do two stripes. Two stripes is fine. Uh, I think that will look cool. Now, this is what I'm thinking on the top. Like uh, when I say pop out, I mean like like this, like, you know, the thing isn't even, and I, I feel like that's what I should be doing here because it, it's a rough canvas thing. It's not meant to be, you know, a perfect, like, I, I it's not meant to be perfect. And so I think by adding these random pop-outs, uh, we get a little bit of imperfection in here. And on a build like this, imperfection is good. So we'll go with that, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it looks. And oh, oh. I was backing up, and we have another cave over here. Hmm. I have a lot of work that I need to do. Uh, oh, that's a dead end. Hmm. I have a lot of coal that I need to dig out. Okay, so I, I know from the inside this thing is, or, or should, look fine. But from the outside, what do we think? Let's go maybe here, and... Hmm... I, I need to add some more wool on that top area. What about over here? Um, yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that looks good. The front needs some work for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think. All right, 
so on the front, um, it's hard to, to do right now because I'm waiting for the spruce wood still, but I think I'd like to do like some spruce fences coming off of off of like the floor and then sort of supporting um, this this awning. Now normally on the front we would have like horses or something, but uh, we, do, we don't have access to saddles quite yet. I haven't found any, so we can't do horses. Um, the horse is just going to have to wait and... Uh, for now, we'll just do something like this, and then, yep, like, fences supporting everything there. I'm just, oh, aha, it grew. I'm not waiting anymore. Nope. Now, we won't be going with a Wild West theme. That, that's not what I'm kind of getting at with this wagon or anything like that. I just kind of like the idea of a Western-style moving wagon because it's something I've never done. I think when we get to building our base, uh, we will do a solid theme. We might end up building like a town on, on this area if it is more of an island. It just sort of depends, um, or even something a little larger. But I, I don't think I will be doing an underground base. I, I was considering it, but I, I just like the idea of building too much. We probably will do some stuff underground, but the the thing as a whole won't be buried and this area as a whole will also not be wild west themed so so don't think that um this is just the start of everything but uh with the spruce wood we can come back in here now and actually finish up these beams and then we we definitely need to add something in down here it's way 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 too flat so maybe we could come in with like some spruce slabs i think and do of course um an arch so maybe something like that uh yeah I, I think it works and then the same thing over here so arch um like that uh i think that works i i don't know this is throwing me off a little bit it's very very flat but i'm not too sure what we could do we could maybe switch one of these out for a slab but i don't think that'll really help anything um but the wheels i think need to be covered with something so maybe we could do I don't know, like oak trap doors on this. Um, hmm. Hmm. A stagecoach. That's what it is. It's it's called a stagecoach. <laughs> That's what we're building here. Uh, so, yep, yeah, I'll put the trap doors on the wheels and then, well, we should probably finish the inside first. I was going to say some bushes around the, the build to sort of obstruct things in a way uh big tip is if you have a build and you're not 100 percent happy with how the outside ends up um then try adding in some plants usually plants will break things up a little bit and help your build as a whole now i i think we could go uh maybe something like that uh i don't know i'm not a huge fan of that that shape so maybe we pull that out and go go there like that so we have a little bit of you know, supporting on the front. I, I think that's cool. And then we'll definitely need some more in here, I think, in line with these beams. But those supports can probably be oak fencing just so uh, we don't have... Well, maybe I'll do spruce. Then, of course, on the top, uh, to finish off our supports, we'll do some fence gates uh, in there to make sure this is all nice and strong looking. And then definitely a, a lantern or two inside of this build as well. Once we have more iron, I will be using a whole lot more lanterns in my builds. But right now, we, we just don't have all that much, that much iron. So we will have to use some torches around here too. Um, but yeah, just know that I do plan on doing that. Now inside of this wagon here, I'm thinking a whole lot of barrels and, and chests and things like that. Just kind of randomly thrown in here to add in some area for some storage. That is the point of this whole thing. We aren't really living out of it. We're just like storing things in it. I think inside of here, we don't really need to have um, too much of like a clean sorting system or anything. It's just the point of moving things inside of this wagon. Now on the outside of the wagon, I, I think I'd like to set up a little campsite, just, just a small one. Um, but for that campsite, we will need a campfire. The campfire will help me find exactly where we're living. So uh, once I go back over to the old base in a few minutes, I'll, I'll bring a hay bale over so we can get the smoke up really, really high. But for now, um, we'll have to deal with the small smoke. So we'll put the fire there. Then, of course, uh, I think I need to... Oh, 
I broke the bed. I wasn't meant to do that. Uh, <laughs> I need to go in here and grab uh, some of this gravel, actually, so we can make some coarse dirt and make this whole area look really worn out, at least around the fire and the wagon. All right, let's try this out. We'll go for just a completely random patching of coarse dirt everywhere in here. And, you know, mixing some path blocks in here as well will help this area look really, really worn out, uh, which is certainly what I'm going for. I have decided to go down the hill just a little bit. Uh, we won't really worry about the area too much. I, I just want a solid theme going on over here. We'll use the berries as a little bit of a defense wall. Um, hopefully that'll save me from the patrols. Um, and, yeah, I, I think pretty much everything over here is looking good. I... I think I would like to do this around the campfire, so um, we'll have like a little spot to sit. Maybe we'll we'll place them spaced out a little bit like that, uh, and yeah, that looks good. For now, the bed will stay back there. That's fine. And then finally, um, a crafting table. The crafting table is actually a barrel. <laughs> there we go. That works well. So now, finally, I need to go back in and place uh, bushes and plants around in here to make this whole area look overgrown and finished. I have a little bit of the birch leaves that I just placed and then a whole lot more spruce and oak leaves. I think I'd like to create a big mixture of all of these leaves to uh, make this area look really uh, like overgrown and, you know, just full of weeds in a way. And, you know, while we're at it, why don't we do this? Let's throw in a small dock. As you guys can maybe tell, I enjoy uh, decorating areas a lot, and uh, I just kind of keep going. <laughs> so let's say maybe we, we have a step up, and then it goes uh, a little lower, and we'll go, I don't know, like that far out, and we'll do another beam thing going up here. Uh, like that and that will be our dock. We'll call that good. I'll place some torches uh, on the thing. So there we go and I mean, I should probably put some more beams here. We'll do that and and that and we're good um, Almost Now, of course you ask will I ever use that dock? Uh, yep, probably not. It's it's all for looks. I I just want this area to look cool Okay, so I have barrels in here and chests as well. The final step would be to move everything over here. That is probably going to be my job in between episodes. I think this is probably uh, the perfect spot to end our little adventure today with our brand new stagecoach parked over where our new base will be. Oh wait, one more thing. Aha, uh -huh, that's a little better. I, I love to do color in my builds. But what do you think? Uh, this is a nice little start to our, our new base, I think. Uh, like I mentioned, in between episodes, I'll start moving stuff over and plan on doing some farm stuff next episode. But that's just about it for now. I would like to mention that I just revamped all of my Patreon tiers, and if you are loving the series and you'd like to see the episodes a little early and usually ad-free, uh, that is included in my bronze tier. So uh, link to that down below. Check it out if you're interested. And thank you very much for watching. My name is Waddles. Go have a good day. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.